attend GEE Tech Friends today. I'm going to walk you through connecting with a USB. Uh, I'm going to connect it in a minute because it'd be in the way of the video. And then I'm going to show you how to use Easy Print and I'm going to show you some of the quirks I found while using it. Alrighty, friends. So, as I mentioned a moment ago, we are working with Easy Print 3D. I have upgraded up to version 1.26, which I found via their website, and using the GEE Tech 3D Printer Club on Facebook, which I highly recommend. When you first launch it, uh, you do have to pick your COM port, which is a simple click and choose, and then it lets you connect. You should hear your printer click uh, so that you know that it is connected. Let's work through the flow right here by doing load and finding a part we want to print. I'm going to do a simple keychain that one of my students created back in the day. It says slow town. All right, like most slicers, when you pull it in, you're in the home view. You can change the view, top, front, whatever you want. Uh, you can move it by switching to the move, and then you can drag it where you want. You can rotate it if you wanted. I'm happy with it printing in that direction, and of course you can scale it, but I don't want to scale this item. I am going to right click so I can get a better look at this and you can see that it's going to be a keychain with a puffed up set of letters because sometimes I cut them out. Let's go to settings. I'm going to start in the middle and just show you that it already knows I have an A10 which is cool and it could have let me pick all them. So I just stayed with the basic settings, one extruder, nozzle head distance, this is all built in. Retraction, prime speed 25, retract. Those are the built-in numbers. So now I'm going to go back to my material. I am doing PLA. I'm going to keep those numbers. I'm going to keep these numbers. I made sure it was 1.75. Make sure it's 100%. I had a wackadoodle number there once. I want to print at 205. I'm going to make my bed 50, though, because that's what the bed was with the dog that came with it. Slow down layers, infill speed, first layer, Print temperature is going to be 210. So, material set. Machine is set. Let's double check the parameters. I'm going to do standard printing quality. I do want 0.3 because it's efficient. Uh, I don't need spiralize. I do want the print cooled. I'm happy with lines, infill, 5%. I don't want support. I don't want towers. I do want a skirt, and I like my skirt to be 5 lines, 10 millimeters away, so I can check it as it starts to see if the print is really adhering. Just because I know it's smart, I'm going to hit Apply. It says it's been applied, and then watch this. When I hit Finish, it reminds me, hey, dude, you haven't used it to slice. So I'm going to say OK, but it doesn't let me quit. So this is just one of the quirky things. It seems like you should be able to quit there instead of having to hit cancel, which makes no sense to me. But then you can hit the slicer, and it slices using your settings. It didn't work correctly, so let's see why. I'm going to start with, since I have Repetier host, I'm going to start with the stop server command and make sure that that stopped because I have found that being an issue. Now it reported that it was already stopped, but I'm going to hit cancel and I'm just going to run that job again. It would like me to load it again, so I'm simply going to do that. Find my load, keychain, just hit open. Now it shows me two of them, which I don't want. So I'm going to go back to move and I'm going to delete one. And let's try slicing again. This time it was successful. And I'm going to hit done. And now I can simply hit run job. You'll notice that the bed is heating. Extruder 1 will heat when that is completed. It does one at a time. And let's see what kind of results we get using the GEE Tech Easy Print 3D. All right, friends. So here is a strange one. It says heating done, yet the print hasn't started. And I've seen this a couple times. Uh, so watch this. I'm going to go back to the computer. And on the control tab, I'm going to tell it to kill the job. Or I'm going to tell it to pause the job and then run the job. Let's see if hitting pause and run actually gets it to start. Or do I need to, from the prepare, run it? Nope, nothing there. But I don't know why the job doesn't immediately start. 
so none of that made it function. So I'm going to hit kill, and then I'm going to hit run job and see if the second time it goes. No response from the machine. I'm going to do the power off. I'm going to power on and see if it does the resume print, because I get that sometimes when a print dies. Nothing. So I'm going to send it again. It doesn't show anything happening, and I don't want to lose my heat. So I'm going to go to control, and I'm going to adjust my temperature so that I don't uh, lose that heat that it's already done. If you haven't noticed how annoying this is, <laughs> it takes like 700 spins to get the nozzle where you want. At least the bed's only going to 50. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the software and see if we can get it to go. Moved it a little bit, re-sliced it, and hit print. You can see it's finishing the heat up. Let's see if we get some, some success this time. And there we have it. Uh, after that multiple restart, we have it moving. You can see here I'm getting a little bit less smush than I want on this side. So I'm going to lower the bed. And remember, turning to the left is raise. So I'm going to turn just a couple of notches to the right. And then you'll see that little line get a little thicker as there's more filament coming out. All right, so let's see what our results are. So look, you can see our results right there. Uh, the slow down keychain has turned out pretty good. Uh, everything seems to be as you would expect it to be sliced. So I'm going to say that the Easy Print software does function. It recognizes the A10. Uh, you do have the glitch with it not printing the first time, but after a couple of retries, I was able to get it to go. Friends, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Uh, keep me posted whether you do use Easy Print or whether you use Kira. I'm still trying to pick which is going to be the best for me. Have a great day. If you found this useful, friends, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL My Tech, hit that notification bell. Have a great day. Bye.